Hey guys, Graphite here and today I've got a brand new tutorial for you. This time I'm going to look at layers. Here we go, we've got our usual page. And as you can see on the right hand side here we've got our layers bar. And up here you can see we've got layer 1. To add a layer, simply just go down here and you'll see these two you'll see these two boxes. This says new layer, click on that. And as you can see up here we've got layer 2. We can rename it to... Uh, new layer, I don't know. And if you want to rename layer 1, you click it and then click it again and it will let you rename them. So, we've got two layers. When you select a layer, it will show as red. So I'm on new layer at the moment. If I was to say draw a rectangle, it will show the rectangle here and obviously you can see we've selected new layer and we're no longer in layer 1. You can see the rectangle symbols appeared there. We make an ellipse and a hexagon. And okay, so we've got four shapes here. If you want to group them, we can select them by shifting and like that. And if you see on here, it's selected these two. We can also do it by pressing shift and selecting them like that. Control G to group them. And we can group these as well. Control G. As you can see, when you group an object, this plus symbol appears next to it. So over here we've got these two shapes and a plus symbol. If we click on that, it will open that group up and we can select each image or each shape individually. And to close it again, just press the minus. And in new layer, because we've got multiple objects, you can see it's got a minus. And if we press it once, it'll clear that. So if we press plus, we can open them up and see them. It's a nice way of keeping everything neat and tidy. Next is moving layers up and down and above and below each other. So if we create a new shape here, and make it purple or pink even. And as you can see up here, it shows rectangle and it's filled in pink. If I click here and drag it, I can move it above and below and in between these layers, so if I drop it down here it'll place it beneath it, and as you can see these two layers are over the top of it. However, if I was to put this in the middle these would vanish, but we can still see these because they're above. It's fairly simple stuff, so if we delete that. Uh, to, re to rename these groups by the way, just click them once and click them again to rename them. So, um, nice and easy stuff. Now up here, on with each layer, you see we've got obviously the plus or minus or nothing if it's not got anything in it. We've got an eye. It will show or hide everything in that layer. So if we click it once, you see these become kind of faded and a light grey and they are no longer on our screen. And as you can see up here, the eye is gone, it's just an oval. If we click it again, they'll reappear is normal. Next to it we've got a printer. This will enable you or disable you to uh, print or export uh, the layer. So if we take that off it won't print. If I select print now and uh, print whatever's on this page it will just print it straight white because there's nothing uh, technically there's nothing on this page. We can still move them about but when it comes to printing it won't show these uh, as on the page. So, take that off. And here finally we've got lock or unlock the images. So you see this little pencil, if we click that once, they're still here on our page, but we cannot click the layers. We can, we can open them to still see what's in them, but we cannot click or select these to do anything with them. Which is quite good if you've got a background or something and you want to keep it still while you're fiddling around with extra things. That, that can be quite useful. We unselect that. Uh, you can move them around again. Um, as you can see up here, we've got guidelines, which are also in the layers bar. And if we were to create a new page, then these would appear as well. So if we minus that, you can see that's page one. If we were to go down here and add a new page with this here, it would show our layers on page two. So that's about it for layers. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
please leave it a like and uh, comment down below telling me anything else you want to see. I will be posting these videos regularly. Please subscribe if you want to see more and see ya!